Hi guys, um, it's Monday so I thought I'd start this week's reading vlog here. I haven't actually done any reading yet today which is why I thought it would be a good place to start because then obviously you'll see all the reading I do this week. So last night I started Daisy Jones and the Six and when I say started I am about literally one chapter into it. I got so tired last night even though the football was on like I wasn't too bothered and so I just went to bed. I was really tired from work and obviously this back injury is tiring me out a bit but what I have been doing today is taking some bookstagrams so obviously I've been writing a lot but I am getting bored so I've been doing like little bits here and there so I decided to take a few bookstagrams just take it very slow. It is a bit chaotic around me because I'm one of those people that when they take bookstagrams I'm like okay that book's done on the floor but I'm not a messy person because I'll tidy it up later. Like, as soon as I finish taking these books to grams, they're going back on the shelf. It's just, I often reuse the same book. So, if, like, I'm going to put it back on the shelf, I'm going to get it back up again. So I may as well leave it off the shelf. But I've got one photo left to take that I want to take. It's of me and my Lucy and Yaks and a stack of books. Because obviously there's the tag on Bookstagram, Yak and Stack, and I love it and I really want to train in. So I feel like I'm going to take that one and then probably call it a day because my back is starting to hurt me. And I've got work tomorrow. They've changed my shifts, thankfully. I have the best people to work with. They've changed my shifts to cover my back so that I don't have to stand up for as long. I'm going to show you the chaos around me, take my final Bookstagram, and then tidy up. And probably just. Mm. I might finish watching the two YouTube videos that I've got my watch later and then read. So let's go. I'm about to go to bed because I have work tomorrow I do want to keep reading like it's really annoying because I'm like I could just read a bit more but I know I'd rather read more in the morning than read one now and then regret it and be like I'm so tired so I'm gonna go to bed but not willingly if that makes sense like I really want to carry on reading I am currently 84 pages into it about to start a new section it's in a documentary style everyone's always said it's like an interview and i see it more as a documentary as if like they're flicking between perspectives almost like an interview documentary style but because of that that style you don't often get the main point of it until like halfway through you obviously get the build-up and we're in the build-up and i'm like what's the event why <laughs> so annoying like oh my god I need to know but yeah it's so good like I wish I'd started earlier but I FaceTimed my parents back home instead because I haven't spoke to them for a few days so I was like I'll FaceTime them but now I'm like <laughs> I want to read Daisy Jones and the Six annoyingly I'm gonna get to bed but just know that I really want to keep reading this because it's so good. Oh. And for reference, the six and Daisy Jones haven't met yet, so we're speaking about Daisy and then we're speaking about the six and I almost want to know their colliding point. I think that's the bit that I'm really excited for at the moment. The story is about how they broke up as a band. So like they must have they've got their getting together a bit and then someone split them up but they did split up into the six and Daisy Jones again like they were originally or what happened? oh right I'm going to bed I'll see you tomorrow because I will be reading this tomorrow so it's Thursday and I realise I haven't done a check in with Daisy Jones and the six I thought I would have finished it by now but I've been like coming home from work and been exhausted so I've not really been reading as much 
and then because of the shift patterns at the moment and I don't have enough time to eat my lunch I don't have a second break at the moment so again not been ridden at work which is fine but I'm up to page 268 now so it's almost like they're not chapters but they are chapters so in my mind I've, fin I've just finished a chapter I've not actually finished a section if that makes sense like there's enough of a paragraph break that it makes it seem like a new chapter and it always starts on a new page so to me it's a new chapter yeah I can see what everyone means about like wanting to actually see the band like oh my god that photo shoots like section where they're on about like the positioning of the outfits and like the tension between them and then the music the descriptions Taylor Jenkins read is like blowing my mind with these descriptions they're insane I want to have this band like I was reading it thinking this is something my dad would like for context my dad hates fiction like I can't buy him books unless they're autobiographies or like history books and so I'm reading this like I think he'd actually enjoy this it's fiction but I feel like he'd enjoy it maybe not because it's not like an autobiography about a footballer but I still think he might enjoy it which is like interesting because it seems so real like I say I want to listen to these songs and I want I want to see those photos I want to see the album cover this tension I want to like know more about the like the other characters like Karen is so interesting to me and they keep on showing glimpses of like her and Graham and I'm like give me more please like in my mind they're so good together and I know it's not gonna end well but I love it so We'll see where that goes. Hopefully I'm going to finish it tonight. That is my plan, to finish it tonight. And then, I don't know what I'll read next. But yeah, it's it's mad. And I'm in love with it. Like, this book is so good. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I got uh, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo as well. I got a load of books for Christmas last year. And Daisy Jones and the Six and The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo were two of them so I asked for two Taylor Jenkins read books I never read her books before but knowing the hype which I'm very happy about because I like I need more of Taylor Jenkins reading my life she's so good but I've read a few contemporaries in a row now and like I'm reading it like hmm it is good but then like I'll take a break and be like there's no dragons is there <laughs> there's no like fighting there's no magic like I do need some more fantasy so I can tell you even though I don't know what I'm going to read next it's not going to be enough contemporary because I need some more fantasy in my life I'm really tempted to read The Assassin's Apprentice that might be one of them but we'll have a look at my book cart I've also moved some things around in my room today which is why even though it's my day off I haven't done as much reading as I wanted I de-weeded the garden and I like sorted out my entire bedroom because as weird as it is I've got the biggest bedroom in our house but I've got the least amount of storage because my bed is 10 centimeters off the ground and so there's no under bed storage so like in terms of what you see is the storage I have like I have a bookcase I have those set of drawers there and I have a wardrobe like that's it it's um limited <laughs> shall we say which is why I've got stuff like this is my own like shelf that I have. My desk is my own. I had my clothes rail, but I've taken that down because I've managed to fit all my clothes in my wardrobe because I've done a bit of a clear out. Half of them are going just back home because I will want them eventually. They're like things I don't want to get rid of, but things I don't wear, if that makes sense. I own a lot of band shirts, but I don't always wear those band shirts anymore. Like I've got an R5 t-shirt from 2015, so that's going home. But I'm never going to get rid of my band shirts, so. Stuff like that. And I've got a few things I need to put on Depop. But I've had a really good day, so I'm going to finish this. I also need to eat some food, so. Can't decide whether to do curry or burritos. Like, I really want burritos. But curry was planned tonight. I could have eaten curry tomorrow. Hmm. We'll see. Right. I'll see.
scene, I said. <laughs> She's alone, the party's over. finished it. Oh my god. Plot twist. Plot twist. <laughs> ah, ah. Like, I think I was so engrossed in it and there was just like, it came off the transcript. I was like, what? <laughs> like, that was so good. Oh my god. I've given it five stars because it's amazing. My mind is a little bit blown across. <laughs> like, oh my god. And I love, I love, like, the ending. You know when they do, like, a little catch up of, like, where they are now? That had it. It had it at the end of where they are now and, like, how they're all doing and living their best lives and, oh. Karen and Graham hurt me a little bit. Like, my soul to Miller. Hmm. That book is on another level of something else. I've never read a book like that. Oh my god. I absolutely loved it and that was amazing. So, it was so good. So, yeah. Daisy Jones and the Six, five stars. Definitely. Like, of course. <laughs> so good. So, I guess I'll catch up with you and decide my next read or do something vaguely interesting. Falling out, gotta think. Is this all?